My name is Lindsay Schwickert and I was hired by CS Porter as a dance educator where we integrate the curriculum that they are teaching here at the school along with dance and movement. Find an asymmetrical shape with your entire body. That's beautiful. If I was to cut you right down the middle, let's see your Christian stiffer on both sides, Olivia stiffer. The value is very high. I would definitely recommend it to other schools. I've just seen them flourish. I've not only seen them come out of their shell in a different way that you don't see in the classroom with the dance, but I see them excited and I see them smiling and I see them moving and I would definitely recommend it for other schools. Um, this week we're working on symmetry and asymmetry and how we can incorporate our bodies in finding angles in other lines. Less than how many degrees? It's 90 degrees. Less than 90. So like, just so we have an acute angle right here with Christian's legs. Olivia's in here with her whole body. Oh, Maddie's found it with her knees. Our, we're using our bodies how to explain, like the like to solve the equation. Most kids when they think they're going when they're going to math, they'll think, oh, this is gonna be so boring. I used to think that, but every Thursday now that um, we have dance class, I was like, yes. But when you're in this class, you can't just go to sleep because you're yeah. doing something. But I believe learners of all ages need to move their bodies to understand concepts better, to engage all our senses in our learning, and because it's joyful. We have danced mathematical concepts. Uh, today we're going to be doing coins. Right now, I want you to choose for yourself, penny, nickel, or dime. Don't tell anybody, don't say it out loud. Choose for yourself, penny, nickel, dime, or high, medium, or low. Wow, I see some dancers really going their own way, <laughs> making lots of neat choices, using all three levels. You have it's like you have this thing and you can turn it into a dance. Ready, set, go! And a high level frozen shape. Here we go, ready, and... The movement class has been a wonderful experience for my class. They've um, looked forward to Wednesdays when Lindsay comes. I've seen an increase in vocabulary. There's been carryover into not only the science and social studies, but also other areas of our curriculum. And it really helps them learn about things like self-control and boundaries, as, as well as the concepts that we're learning with the curriculum and how to use the space, uh, it, it really draws on their creativity because they do a lot of their own choreography. So it's very empowering and they perform for each other. So again, for some of them, that's, this is very natural and for the ones that are really shy about doing that because of the way that they're performing with a partner always or in groups, it's a very safe place to share that with others. It's really fun and it makes me feel great.